Ah, Mr. Roberts. Who the hell are you? A pertinent question, Mr. Roberts, which we will address in due course. But for now, let us focus on the task at hand. What are you talking about? What am I doing here? You are here to make a choice, Mr. Roberts. That is all. <laughs> I'm sorry, I don't know who you are or where I am. I was on my way to work and... Then now you're here. Your choice is a simple one. If you make the right one, well, you will leave here with more than you could possibly imagine. What choice? What are you talking about? Mr. Roberts, in front of you is a button. Should you choose to push that button, someone, somewhere in this world, will die. What kind of a sick joke is this? You didn't let me finish, Mr. Roberts. If you choose to push that button, I will give you ten million dollars inside this briefcase. This is ridiculous. I'm leaving. You'll find the door is locked. You do not know who you are dealing with. Jeffrey Roberts of 14 Brennan Court. Trouble sleeping, job wavering, debts mounting. Who the hell do you think you are? A powerful man, Mr. Roberts. A man who can change your life for the small cost of someone else's. My God. Oh, he's not yours, Mr. Roberts. This can't be real. I assure you, it's very real. Prove it. Well, let's take a look then, shall we? Ten million dollars, Mr. Roberts. All legal tenders. Just think what that sort of money can achieve. Well, what happens if I don't push it? Well, then. I give you the key to the door. And you never see me or the $10 million again. How do I know pushing that button won't just kill me? Well, it could. But the odds are six billion to one. Six billion, huh? That is a lot of people. And people do die all the time, right? Precisely. I mean, I mean how many people have died in car accidents this year? Car accidents? Well, 14,764, huh? 65, 60, however, we digress. You were saying about accidents, they happen all the time. Yeah, you know, wrong place, wrong time, and bang, the time is up. Eventually, Mr. Roberts, everyone's time is up. All right. If, if I push that button, how would they die? It'll be an accident of some sort. How can I possibly trust you? I'm trying to help you. Yeah, come on, just tell me what it is really about. What's in it for you? Well, nothing directly. You see, my purpose is to try to create a world devoid of weakness, kindness, selflessness, mercy. These are all euphemisms for weakness. I hold up the animal world, Mr. Roberts. The beasts of the field show no mercy. You don't die of old age on the Serengeti. True beauty is in self-preservation. You're an evil son of a bitch. Morality, mortality. Your musings are becoming tiresome, Mr. Roberts. I'm considering withdrawing my offer. Oh, come on. You have 30 seconds. If you haven't pushed the button by then, well, then you can leave as penniless as when you came. I need more time to think. You've had enough time. What if it's a little girl or something? Irrelevant. I, I can't. I mean... One less person in an already overpopulated world. One person? Just one. No one will ever know. Not a soul. Oh, God. Decide now. Think of your family. Think of the money. Push it. Push it. Push it! This is a 
trick, wasn't it? Not at all, Mr. Roberts. The money's yours. Here, take what you're owed. There is one thing I have to tell you, Mr. Roberts. What? Well, you see, Mr. Roberts, you're already dead. That's, that's impossible. Think, Mr. Roberts. One minute you are driving, and the next you're here. No. 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 A rather nasty car accident, I'm afraid. Since man was capable of possessing a soul, it's been my job to tempt him in purgatory with whatever mortal vice that would encourage him to take the life of another. The evil can be saved. The good can be condemned for their transgression. Think of me as God's filter. What's going to happen to me? Well, you're going to hell, Mr. Roberts. Endless and boundless nothing. But I did it for my family. You had the key to salvation. You chose condemnation. Oh, wait, please. Goodbye, Mr. Roberts. Oh, and don't forget your briefcase. You are allowed to keep that. Just tell me. Who did I kill? Oh, I wouldn't worry about that, Mr. Roberts. I'll be seeing them next. <laughs>